Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from NM Watch and we are back with the full review of this awesome watch. This is the San Martin SN021 B-1. <laughs> All right, so I've got to say that correct. So some some stores uh, mention it as SN021 G B1, so but yeah, still I'm gonna be calling it that. SN021 B-1 because there is a SN021 B-2 which is this version which is uh, using the um, the sets of um, Tudor style hands and dial right so the yeah, this is the B2 but this is the version B1 right so <laughs> so yeah a quick uh, just let's just discuss the dimension for this particular piece uh 37 millimeters on the uh, case size right diameters from here to here and the thickness of this one is quite thin at about 11.3 uh, millimeters including that um, double sorry box dome sapphire crystal and a very very compact lug to lug of 45.8 from here to here and a deluxe width of 20 millimeters right so and way right so weighing way on this uh, particular bracelet so this is an excellent bracelet from say martin by the way i took only two links out of it um uh, it weigh at about including the head of the watch it will be around 120 grams making it a very very uh, comfortable watch to be worn day in and day out right so what uh, after wearing it for about one month so i think i can just conclude uh, whether I like or I don't like this particular watch and the uh, just by looking at looking at it and just by hearing my tone my voice tone you guys already know that I really 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 love this thing right so it's honestly it's, it's just um uh, wonder why San Martin haven't produced this for initially right so why haven't what took San Martin so long to produce this version because there are quite a lot of um other uh, watch right so other watch brands in Aliexpress that has been producing this 3, 6 and 9 dial but they are making them in the modern modern uh, Explorer 369 dial style right so whereas San Martin did a little bit of difference different things so where they put in the vintage style 369 dial with in with applied indices right so i have to applaud san martin for that of course they are copying someone else's design but still they are making it their own they are don't they don't follow the trend that other other watch other brands is doing uh, on aliexpress but still they come up with their own right so and for that yeah of course there is a, uh, a huge difference in uh, in price of course right so for example this version right so with the uh, pt5000 movement will cost you out of the sale at about 300 to 320 dollars whereas the other brands right such as um Filida or uh, Pagani Design was, was selling those selling their models for about less than 150 bucks, right? So, but do I still think that this is worth money? In summary, yes, but but still, if you guys you know uh, are reluctant to pay that much money, yeah, there are still of course there are a few other options like I mentioned just now, right? So, but let's talk a bit more about this particular watch. So it comes with this um you know typical uh circular brushing on these lugs here and a very very beautiful finishing on the side of the case which is very very thin by the way and we know San Martin produces very very high end finishing so they are not of course they are not until that you know Zaratsu finishing but still the polished um, the polish their polishing is very very good for the money right so let's just uh, let's just uh, <laughs> uh, do a quick emphasis on that for the money guys right so nice bonnet brushing on again similar uh, circular brushing on the lux again and this beautifully done um polishing on the bezel right so and the uh, the dial right so it features this matte black dial a little bit it looks sometimes it looks like a very very dark gray in my opinion it doesn't really look that um, very deep black so yeah i think it looks like a very dark gray so that makes it looks more uh, vintage in my opinion right so and we have those printed minute and this needs printed minute track on the outer side of the dial and of course the, of course those beautifully applied uh, hour markers right so they say in their <laughs> with in their product description this is a 3d applied indices <laughs> yeah yeah i i get that 3d what i mean by 3d but still 
the, these are applied in this is with that applied San Martin logo which has become a favorite of mine from their uh, you know their sub homages right so the hands right so the hands if you are uh, some of my viewers pointed out that the hands and the our indices the white color does not really match so that is you know typical of these chinese manufacturers i don't know why they couldn't match the white color but they are still it's not really that um, you know that uh, not really not a deal, drill, deal breaker for me but yeah still if you uh, if you don't like it so yeah it is what it is guys so uh printed um automatic 100 meters of 350 feet at the six o'clock there so the color is matching with the minute tracks so that's so far so good and the right the hands is featuring your typical uh, hours mercedes hand and and your pencil hand pencil pin hands and also this uh, lollipop second hands right so and the crown right so the i mentioned before that the crown is a little bit too small but still if they make it bigger it would not look vintage so this one is uh, 5.9 millimeters in diameter and just at three millimeters in in height right so of course it's quite difficult because the pt5000 movement if you guys have been uh, know about this movement it's a bit quite a heavy watch to wind so that makes it a bit difficult when you want to screw in the crown so you have to turn back and then screw it in so that, that, that you know the surface the grid surface is little less but still it is still doable right so a sign crown here with that again san martin logo hexagon logo which is very very good and yeah it's it's not sharp there's no sharp edges on this one and of course talking about sharp edges you will find sharp edges on this bit here the inner lux which is you know what typical for san martin and any other aliexpress brand but of course you have to <laughs> you have to i don't know somehow forgive them because even the to the modern to the to the also have the same issue right so uh, talking about the brand logo so of course on this bracelet we also have that san martin hexagon logos hexagon logos which is very very good and at the back so there's no printing uh etching whatsoever but yeah still this is your what you you used to see even from the uh, rolex itself right so let's talk a bit more about the bracelets of course we have this uh rolex sorry oyster style bracelet with uh, tapers from 20 to 16 millimeters and with that beautifully done uh class here and we have this mill class which is very very good and very very high quality right so um one thing that you should note is that the this sn021b-1 version came with the two micro just a shorter class so what you should do or you should ask whenever you buy this one this this uh model is that please ask them to go for to to swap the original class to this four micro adjust version right because it is much much more easier to get a good fit when you have more micro adjust right so that is how i how i did it and yeah so far so good they are responding to my request right so let's do you know what i think for <laughs> you know what let's just put it on wrist and see how it looks like oh again sn021b-2 right so sorry b2 or dash 2 <laughs> b-2 right so this is how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist by the way i am wearing it on this beautiful uh epsom leather strap from again san martin uh accessories accessory store right so of course if you guys like this look so i will give you i leave i will leave a link down below if you if you want to get one of these beautiful strap with that beautiful san martin logo right so i yeah i just love the versatility of this color this uh, matte black color tile because you can you know what you can pair it with any color that you like be it brown or black or blue or red or whatever color that floats your boat but of course i'm me being the boring guy that i am i'm not going to be putting something that's striking so because yeah maybe it's because <laughs> my age right but still uh, i managed to convince myself to get one of these so this tiffany dial right so this one this review will be coming soon right? so yeah i just you know what I, somehow this big indices makes it a whole lot more interesting but yeah still a uh, full review coming soon this particular piece right but all in all this one is a great not really that bargain right so but not really that bargain because of the, the price like i mentioned in my previous videos so if you want to get one of these so get it during the sales okay guys so let's do a quick loom check you guys ready three two one boom right so 
I just love this um, applied indices, right? So both this of the San Martin SN zero two one B dash one and zero two B dash one and B dash two, they both have this PGW and loom, and of course applied on the applied indices. So yeah, that that makes them you know <laughs> very very powerful loom. So this one, uh, this both of these are stay all through the night, and yeah, I just love. Uh, you know what? You can't beat beat San Martin in their loom game, right? So there you have it, guys. So um, all in all, um, you know what? If you guys <laughs> like this style, right? so you can't really go wrong with San Martin. So they are in their own league right now. But yeah, still, what do you guys think of this particular piece? Does it, is it worth it? Uh, it do, you, do you think that it's not worth it? There are tons of other options out there. So please do let me know your uh, thoughts down below right so if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and the next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye